Welcome to this week's edition of The Blitz. On today's episode, we will be joined by wide receiver Jeremy Davis to take a look back at our game against Western Michigan. And cornerback Byron Jones will be joining us to take a look ahead at our next opponent, the Buffalo Bulls. Joining us on Coach's Corner today, Coach Pascaloni will be here to answer questions from you, the fans, and we will also have tight ends coach Mike Foley on as well. So thanks for tuning in, and now, the Blitz. Welcome now to Coach's Corner. I am joined now by Coach Pascaloni. Thanks for being here today, Coach. Well, it's good to be here today. All right, coming off a 34-24 to 24 loss, we saw quite a bit of that exciting UConn football that we all know and love, but still came up short despite quite a fight out of our guys. Can you give us your overall thoughts on the game? Well, we got ourselves into a hole very early, you know, 17 nothing, getting down 17 nothing. We didn't have very much production in the first four possessions, our first four possessions of the game. Uh, and we struggled. We got down 24 to 7, uh, and then we started to... Uh, started to make some plays and, and got the game to 24-17 uh, and unfortunately uh, had a, uh, a sack fumble that was picked up and returned you know, for a touchdown. Uh, I thought there were times in the game we played very well uh, and there were times that we didn't play well enough on both sides of the ball and uh, very, very disappointing, really a heartbreaking loss that we've got to get over very, very quickly and move on because obviously we've got the University of Buffalo coming in here quickly. And we're all really looking forward to see how your guys respond coming up with Buffalo. All right, so now let's take a look at some questions that we have for fans. We've got some good ones this week. You ready to go? Ready to go. Hi, I'm Mike. Um, I'm a senior here at UConn. Uh, I'm from Hamden, Connecticut. And I seen that you guys had great offense last week. And I was wondering what your expectations are for this week. Well, our expectations are to go out and put together a complete game. You know, football is a complementary game, and that means the offense, defense, and special teams all have to play and complement each other. So we're looking for real production again, pick up where we left off at the end of that uh, game last week at Western Michigan, and defense tighten the coverage up a little bit and do a little bit more on, on punt returns and kickoff returns and uh, play a, just play a great game uh, in all phases. All right, great. Let's take a look at the next question. Hi, I'm Tom Bashan of Lakeville, Massachusetts, and uh, my question is, uh, I've heard they've had three kids, and I'm wondering if they're following your footsteps and going to join the UConn football team eventually. Well, we've got uh, three, uh, three children, 13, 12, and 10, uh, two boys and a girl. Uh, my boys like football. Uh, right now they're playing youth football in South Windsor. They have a great program there. Uh, my daughter, Cammie, loves sports. Uh, and she plays all sports right now. I believe she's playing soccer and she loves lacrosse and basketball. And I'm dying to get her into field hockey as well here pretty soon. Uh, most importantly, they're good students and they work hard in school. So uh, I'd love for them to just play the sports that they'd love to play. It doesn't necessarily for me have to be football. They also like baseball and lacrosse and basketball. So just to be active, be good kids, get good grades, and uh, uh, play hard when they play. Quite a little athletic clan you guys have. Yeah. All right, let's take a look at the last question. Hi, I'm Christy. I'm a freshman from Avon, Connecticut. And I'm Ainsley. I'm a freshman from North Carolina. And we want to know, what was your favorite coaching moment before you came to UConn? Well, uh, I've had a, been fortunate. I've had a, a couple good uh, coaching moments. Uh, of late, probably the last couple trips uh, to Giant Stadium uh, for me, coming out of Giant Stadium, um, with a win is kind of a pretty special place to go win a game because when the Cowboys are playing the, the Giants, they're NFC East rivals and they're pretty tough games. So some of those games were, were, were a lot of fun. Wonderful. Well, we're looking forward to many more great memories here at UConn. Thanks so much for being here today, Coach. Thank you. All right, Husky fans, be sure to be on the lookout for the Huskies All Access crew throughout the season to get your questions submitted and answered here by Coach P on Coach's Corner. Joining us now on Coach's Corner is tight ends coach Mike Foley. Thanks for being here today, Coach. Great to be here, Emily. 
All right, now looking back at our game against Western Michigan, obviously a tough loss, but we did see a lot of production both on the ground and through the air. Now that you had some time to look at the film, what are your thoughts on our offensive performance? Well, I think overall, uh, you know, we did some, uh, some real good things. I think we improved in a lot of areas, but at the same time, we still have uh, some things we've got to clean up in order to really be uh, efficient uh, and not break ourselves down. I think that's one of the things that will really be important for us to continue to grow as an offense is that we don't uh, have a lot of the, the little mistakes that can really break you down. I think that's important. Mm -hmm. And knowing this team the way that you do, seeing how they responded after the loss against NC State with our big win over Maryland, how do you see these guys responding and their mentality and their focus this week preparing for Buffalo? I think their focus and the mentality would be great. I think they'll really come hard to work, to really work hard, and uh, that's typically how they are. So I, I really expect them to really put in and have a great week of practice and be ready to go on Saturday. All right, now let's dive into your crew, the tight ends, a new position for you after being with the O-line for the last six years here. Looking at the production of our offense, really picking up now, John Delahunt, number two in receivers, Ryan Griffin, always a threat downfield. Can you talk about what you like out of your receivers and, and how you see their role escalating? You know, the tight ends have been big in this offense. Uh, Coach DeLeon likes to use them. Uh, they, they both play a lot, a lot of times at the same time. Uh, we rotate them a little bit, but really they run the field a lot at the same time. They both uh, complement each other. Uh, they both have very good hands uh, and, and, and can run well after the catch. Um, Griff's a real big target, obviously at 6'6", six, six, and can go up and get the ball. Deli has really shown, you know, he's got great hands. He made a couple great catches at, uh, at Maryland, uh, and he does a great job blocking. As, you know, and, and Griff's done, continues to keep getting better as a blocker and getting stronger. So I see their production only getting better as the year goes on. They're definitely a fun group for us to watch. Now looking ahead briefly to the game against Buffalo. Back at the rent, we defeated them last year, 17 to three. What kind of expectations do you have after being able to look at their film a little bit for our upcoming game? I think that, you know, looking at them, they're a tough, aggressive, physical team on defense. Um, they got some real fine players, so we're, we've got to do a great job again paying attention to the, the small things, the little details, and taking care of the. Typically, if you take care of the small things, the big things will happen, and that's what we've got to do in this game. Um, like I said, they're a physical defense. Uh, they will get after you pretty good. Uh, so we've we got to really take care of the, the little things. Great. Well, we're really looking forward to that game being back at the rent. Thanks so much for being here today. Thank you, Omar. All right, fans, now let's take a look back to highlights from UConn versus Western Michigan. now is redshirt sophomore wide receiver Jeremy Davis who had 132 yards receiving and a touchdown in our game against Western Michigan. Thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. All right now obviously a lot of dejected faces after the loss last weekend getting down 17 nothing and just not being able to catch back up. What has the mentality of the team been like since that last whistle blew? You know I mean it's really bad for us you know we all got that bad taste in our mouth so this is a week really at the fight and prepare so we can get ready for Saturday and you know, get that feeling of winning again. Now we did see a lot of production out of the offense this week. 425 total yards, three receiving touchdowns. What clicked with you guys against Western Michigan? And despite the loss, did it feel good to have that kind of production on the offense? I mean, like you say, you know, we lost and, you know, it felt kind of bad, but, you know, like, I feel like we really caught a rhythm, you know, in that second half, you know, moving the ball, really balancing it, run, pass, run, pass. So hopefully we can just, uh, do whatever the coaches tell us again this week and just have another a better game actually this week coming up. I'm looking at that last drive of the game. Eight plays for 80 yards mm. with three minutes on the clock to drive all the way down the field. Mm. 
finishing up with your seven yard touchdown reception. Can you talk us through that drive and what it was that was so exciting culminating with your touchdown? Uh, just a focus thing. It's a thing like uh, even though we're down, we want to score. We want to get this game as close as we can. So we all had that mentality going down the field. And thank God it uh, accumulated into a touchdown. And now you and Chandler seem to have developed quite a nice connection there. You seem to be his go-to receiver. Can you talk about why you two always seem to find each other and what it means for you to be uh, the number one target? You know, I mean, I'm grateful for that. You know, all these receivers here are capable of doing that. You know, I'm just in that position, which I'm thankful for. But like I said, this whole core is really talented. Any one of us can be there making plays like that. I just happen to be the guy there. So, you know, it feels good, you know, that I'm making those plays, helping contribute to the team, and just hope I continue to do that as the season goes on. Well, it certainly has been fun to watch that develop, and we're looking for such great things out of you for the rest of the season. Thanks so much for being here today. No problem. All right, now let's take a look ahead to our next opponent, the Buffalo Bulls. Welcome to the show, redshirt sophomore cornerback Byron Jones, who had 10 tackles in our game against Western Michigan. Thanks so much for being here today. It's an honor to be here. All right, next up we have the Buffalo Bulls, who are 1-2 and two this season, coming off of a loss to Kent State. What is it that you guys learned about your defense that you can use as we take on the Bulls? I think the best thing we have going on as a defense is our disguise, you know, not letting the office know exactly what coverage we're in, so we keep them on their toes. I think that's the best asset we have. Bulls quarterback Alex Zerdich only had one touchdown pass against Kent State, a Hail Mary oh, pass. Yeah? Wow. But he has thrown for six touchdowns on this season. That's and good. his number one receiver, Alex Newts, has six touchdowns of his own. How do you feel like your secondary will be able to match up against their passing offense? I think the best thing we can just do is just man up, you know, man to man defense. It's a one on one battle. You, you, Coach Brown lets us know every day you got to win your one on one matchups. Okay, and the Bulls defense has given up an average of 34 points every game. Looking at the kind of production that we saw out of our offense against Western Michigan, how do you think they'll fare against the Bulls? I think, I think our offense will have fun out there, you know. I think they're coming along, you know, they're still learning. There's still things that need to be kinked out, but I think they're coming along and it showed Western Michigan, so moving on to the next game. So I think things will be pretty good for them. All right, and in this week of preparation, for Buffalo, what has the mentality been like of the players coming off that loss, and, and how do you feel like you guys will be able to rebound? Uh, it's always tough coming off a loss, but it, the best thing about it is guys, when they come to practice, they're focused, they're ready, they're ready to change their practice habits, and I, I think that's what guys are doing this weekend, so it will be expected to show in Buffalo game. And we've been on the road for the last two weeks now, finally yeah. returning home to the rent. How ready are you guys to be on home turf and put on a show for Husky hey, Nation? There's nothing better than playing home in front of the 40,000 fans. I think we got one of the best fans and the best fans in the nation. So, you know, it's always great to be back home. Well, I know our fans are really excited to have you guys back. Thanks so much for being here on our show today, Byron. No problem. Thank you. All right, Husky fans, the Huskies will take on the Bulls Saturday, September 29th at noon at Rentschler Field for Connecticut Day. You can catch the game on SNY as part of the Big East Network's Game of the Week, and you can listen on News Talk 1080. Or better yet, you can just come to the stadium and, and experience it live. We love that. Even better. Thanks so much for tuning in to this week's edition of The Blitz. I'm Emily Noonan for Huskies All Access. We'll see you out there. <laughs>